Hey there, everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of self-centeredness. We'll explore the signs of someone who's too self-centered, the reasons why they may behave this way, and most importantly, strategies for coping with their behavior. Imagine having a conversation with someone who seems to always dominate the discussion, talks only about their own accomplishments, and shows little empathy for your feelings. Sound familiar? You might be dealing with a self-centered person. Self-centeredness differs from self-care, as it involves thinking solely about oneself, neglecting the needs and perspectives of others. To shed some light on this topic, we'll delve into the signs that indicate someone's self-centered behavior. One major giveaway is their tendency to monopolize conversations. They'll talk endlessly about their life, achievements, and problems, leaving little room for you to share your thoughts. Empathy is another area where they struggle. Self-centered individuals have difficulty seeing things from another person's perspective, making it challenging for them to understand and relate to others' feelings. Another common trait is their one-sided approach to relationships. They take more than they give, leaving you feeling like you're the only one putting in the effort. They often demand that things be done their way and have a hard time compromising or considering others' preferences. Additionally, they're quick to blame others and avoid responsibility for their mistakes. If the spotlight isn't on them, they'll find ways to make it about themselves. They crave attention and may try to one-up others' stories or insert themselves into situations to make it all about them. Interestingly, there are various reasons why someone might exhibit self-centered behavior. It could be due to their upbringing, early feelings of rejection, or past traumatic experiences. Sociocultural factors, mental health conditions, and even neurodivergence can also play a role. Now, let's address the million-dollar question. How do we cope with someone who's self-centered? Firstly, open communication is key. If they're unaware of their behavior, having an honest conversation about how their actions are affecting you can help them understand the impact they're having. Suggesting therapy can also be beneficial as it allows them to examine their behavior, explore its underlying causes, and develop strategies for being more considerate of others. Asserting yourself is another important step. If they're being inconsiderate, don't hesitate to make your needs and preferences known. Be diplomatic but specific in your requests. Adjust your expectations as well. Recognize them for who they are and avoid setting yourself up for disappointment. Setting boundaries is crucial to protect your time and energy. Limit your interactions if necessary and keep your distance from those who consistently drain you emotionally. Remember, you're not alone in dealing with self-centered individuals. Stay tuned for more videos where we'll delve deeper into various psychological topics and provide practical strategies for navigating life's challenges. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.